Hey guys, welcome back to my blog. This past week I've been sick following my flu jab, and because I can't take anything, I've been letting it run its course. It's harder getting sick when you're pregnant, because you can't take certain things, it was like I swallowed razor blades. I was taking hot baths and just trying to sweat it out, it made me feel really drained. But this past weekend I've started to feel better. Getting the flu jab I got the flu jab last week, which left me really ill, I'm terrified of needles, so for me, I would never have convinced myself, but if I end up really ill with the flu, the baby could be really ill. So it was important to me. The reason I got it was for the baby. It was practically like I had flu, so last week I did nothing at all, and you obviously can't take anything, you just have to ride it out, and it was freezing so I didn't want to go out too much, but I felt so much better over the weekend. I've had a few illnesses while being pregnant that I did panic about, for example, I had shingles when pregnant, but doctors did say it does protect the baby from getting it. I just made sure I didn't go out, because I didn't want to get too sick, because then the immune system would be really bad for the baby, I stay healthy, because it's not just me I'm looking after. I explained to Gary about how protective I am, and he'll probably feel more protective when the baby is here. I'm the one carrying him, so I feel so protective, for example, even in the car now, not that I was a bad driver, but I'm just so much more safe. It's been icy recently, and I worry that I'll slip, because if I do, it's not just me that I'll hurt. Gary has been really good while I've been sick, especially because we're near the end now. He's been running me baths, staying in and having dinner with me and making me cups of tea. Deciding on the middle name we've decided on the baby's middle name this week. It's got a very thoughtful meaning behind it. Early birth I was told before that I could go into labor early because of the size of the baby. Gary and I have got an appointment on Wednesday, and they'll measure the baby again. He just feels so big, and I don't even get a bump, but you can see his feet and how low he is. Still unsure about home birth. I'm still not decided yet if I want a home birth. I'm getting a little bit more panicky now, as it could happen any time early, I might not get the choice whether I have a home birth or not. My hospital bag is all packed and ready to go for when it happens, I just want everything ready to pick up and go. Personally, I'm drawn to the idea of a home birth as I feel like home births are more comfortable. I'm not really a hospital person, I feel like I'd be more comfortable at home. Having a Christmas baby and picking a nursery the baby could come over Christmas, which I would love. I keep seeing so many baby Christmas outfits, and I'm thinking I would actually love to have a baby for Christmas. I'm also going to see a nursery on Tuesday to check it out, it's one round here obviously because we moved. I just want to make sure they serve good food, and meet all the people at the nursery as well. My opinion on Laura Simpson I tweeted about Laura Simpson this week, and what she's been doing online. I think she's disgusting, what she is doing, Colleen is pregnant. Which is hard enough to go through without someone in your face, it's so disrespectful and I hate disrespectful people. I feel sorry for her kids, because they're the ones who will have things said to them. Becoming a mum has made my opinions more powerful, 
because with how protective you are, you never want your children to go through any pain or misery, and she's dumping that onto them, it's going to be online forever. This week this week I've got some things planned. We'll be going to look at the nursery this week, which I am excited about. And I'll be heading to London as well, so I hope the snow stops soon. Lots of love Emma and Bump XXX. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.